Chelsea were crown champions in 2015 but because Premier League rules stated only players who made five or more appearances would receive a medal, José Mourinho had an idea. The Portuguese asked his club to purchase replica winner's medal so that he could award those few who were not entitled, including the Egyptian who had been sent to Italy. Mohamed Salah was on loan at Fiorentina and had contributed just three substitute appearances to Chelsea's league-winning campaign, but Mourinho wanted one sent to him too. Not all of them will get an official medal, Mourinho explained at the time. But yes, we are going to buy medals. Him, Andre Shurla, Salah, Mark, Schwarzer, Lewis Baker. All of them who started the season with us. They have been invited to the last match and the player of the year dinner. They belong to us. Technically, Salah did belong to Chelsea but he would not make another appearance for the London club. After that loan to Fiorentina, he would be offloaded to Roma. Despite being kicked out the door at Stamford Bridge, Mourinho was once a fan. It was the 55-year-old who signed the midfielder from Swiss champions ball for a fee of £11 million. Salah had been brilliant for ball. He scored against Chelsea in the semi-finals of the Europa League in 2013, before netting in both Champions League matches against them a season later. It was a direct way to grab their attention. First of all, he won't score against Chelsea, which is a good thing. Mourinho joked after beating Brendan Rodgers Liverpool to the signing of Salah in January 2014. Chelsea had just sold Juan Mata to Manchester United for £37 million while Kevin De Bruyne was also allowed to leave for Wolfsburg that month. Speaking seriously, we had to react to the Mata situation, Mourinho continued. We had to go for a young player, for a left-footed player and for a fast player, especially who is fast in the space. Salah is a kind of player that looks for the space and tries to get behind people so we think he was a good choice. Mourinho's analysis wasn't wrong. Salah has shown those characteristics countless times this season for Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool. On Saturday lunchtime, he will have his chance to inflict them on his old manager against United at Old Trafford. Salah scored his 32nd goal of the season against Newcastle last week and is the Premier League's joint top scorer with Harry Kane on 24. Anfield cannot help but rise with excitement when the man nicknamed the Egyptian Messi has the ball. So why did Mourinho send him away? Why did he only make 19 appearances in all competitions before being told he was not Chelsea material? Mourinho felt Salah, 21 at the time of signing, was yet to mature and had to become more physical for the Premier League, hence his being sent to Serie A. Any Chelsea fans who saw him in the flesh that first season will concur that he had to become stronger. Once that flaw was noticed, it was only natural that the Blues would turn to their trusty loan system to try to fix the issue. Salah may also have been a bad fit in a Mourinho system. The Portuguese has been criticized for parking the bus in the past or having a defensive mindset, and perhaps that contributed to the attacker having a limited impact on the pitch. After all, there is no doubt that Klopp's heavy metal, full-on football is benefiting from Salah's speedy forward-thinking style and mentality now. Sometimes, a player can be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and at Chelsea under Mourinho, that seemed to be the case. Other men tried to woo the special one and failed, such as De Bruyne or Romelu Lukaku and it takes a great deal of determination to come back and prove the critics wrong. Salah has done that. He handled being let go by Chelsea well. He impressed in Fiorentina, then in Rome, so much so that Liverpool deemed him worth £34 million. That seems a snip now. So Chelsea have paid the price for deciding against attempting to nurture Salah's talent themselves by keeping him on the books. Now back, he is tearing the Premier League apart, and has Mourinho's Manchester United in his sights next.